Hi, welcome back to Engine Shop Joe. If you're not subscribed, please do subscribe. That helps me. And uh, hopefully it'll help you with uh, good information to help you keep that Cummins engine running in tip-top shape. One of the subscribers asked me if I would talk about face plugging, after treatment face plugging. And so we're going to uh, look into that in uh, the month of December. And we're going to be talking more about after treatment because that's part of uh, what are the problems you can have with after treatment. And it's not a problem caused by the after treatment, but it's something that happens to the after treatment. So we'll get into that a little bit in the future. And another thing I wanted to talk about tonight was uh, af after treatment regeneration frequency or how often your engine regens. It's really kind of a dangerous uh, subject to talk about because engines are like people they're not they're the same but they're not and uh, s some ISXs will regen every 90 to 100 hours some every 80 hours some less than that and I'm talking about healthy ones and healthy after treatment systems so uh, there's a lot of factors that affect that duty cycle uh, how heavy you haul whether in a, in a hilly terrain where you're always shifting, how much time you idle versus running down the road. Uh, there's a lot of different things that affect how often that engine regens. So I'm going to do something that I know better than to do, and that is to uh, give you a, a rough idea of how often engine models regen. And I'm talking about when I talk about these engine models and after treatment systems, I'm talking about a clean, healthy filter and after treatment. I'm talking about a properly maintained and correctly running engine. And that's one that has less than 30% idle time. So if the engine runs 100 hours, less than 30 hours or less are spent with the wheels not turning or idling because idle time does affect uh, your after treatment. So uh, the ISX 15, which would be the 2017 and newer, I'm seeing those engines, uh, if everything's healthy, regen around every 100 hours. So if you're running down the road, once every two weeks, two and a half weeks, you might feel it passively regen. You probably won't be pulling over to push that button because the light's on asking you to do a, a stationary regen or a, what they call a forced regen. Um, these are called passive regens. And we'll talk about the difference uh, coming up in the near future so you understand that. On the uh, L9 engines, I usually see around 35 to 70 or 80 hours, depending again on duty cycle and uh, horsepower also matters and ratings matter. Uh, on the ISB 67 series, I see about 100 hours to 130 hours uh, between passive regens. On the uh, 11 nines and, and ISX 12s, I see about 30 to 45 hours between passive regens on a, on a normal healthy system. So those are all ballparks of where they regen and uh, if you bought a brand new uh, unit and everything was working just fine, that would be probably the hours that you'd see your engine regening. As that time creeps down and the regens get closer together, that's not something to worry about. But if, you're, if that's happening and your duty cycle hasn't changed, you need to look at some other things like, hey, is it, time to, is it, is it a maintenance interval to replace that? Diesel particulate filter, and we'll talk about cleaning versus changing uh, in the future. And uh, so you, there's a lot of things to consider. So this is kind of the opening for what's coming. And now you've got a rough idea of where your engine should be regening. Again, don't panic if it's regening more frequently than that. And if you are having problems with it, or you've, you've got some repairs done and the problems came back, 
Uh, I saw a lot of that over the years that I worked with after treatment. So we're going to address some of the things that can cause that. And I'll talk a little bit about what I use to help me figure out what's wrong uh, when these engines do this so that we can actually correct the problem and, and the thing will run the way it should. And I'll be the first to tell you that um, we've had engines where we put a new after treatment in and in three months it shot because it got burned right out of it because there was other problems with the engine and we didn't do our diligence to watch that and make sure that it was okay because we assumed it was. And so even the people that do this on a regular basis can make mistakes and can and uh, have problems. So anyway, that's why we're here. We're here to learn so that we don't have that happen to us and so that we are wise and prudent and do a good job at uh, taking care of our engines, which take care of us and, and move us down the road every day. Thanks for joining me. Subscribe. I'll see you next time on Engine Shop Joe. Have a good week.